policies can be defined to manage protected data whose access must be restricted. Data protections include access restrictions, access provisions, data that must be made public, data retention, how long data must be saved, and data disposition, what happens when the retention period is over. There are multiple types of protected data that are managed at UNC, including PII, personally identifiable information, PHI, protected health information, and PCI, payment card industry information. Universities must also comply with FERPA, Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. Companies must comply with Sarbanes-Oxley, which regulates the retention and disposition of company data. To generate a list of tasks that are required for the management of protected data, the UNC System Administrator's Guide was examined. A total of 51 tasks were extracted from the guide as candidates for automation through use of policies. Chapter 6 of the Policy Examples Workbook provides examples of rules that automate protected data tasks. The first 17 protected data tasks are listed here. The tasks included not only controls on the processing of the data, such as encryption of protected data, but also controls on the integrity of the data, such as checks for viruses. The controls needed to extend to groups that access the data through federations. If the data are used at multiple sites, the access controls have to be applied uniformly across the sites. Multiple types of reports are needed, from lists of failed access attempts, to lists of the storage systems that were used, and lists of the persons who could access the protected data. The second set of protected data tasks are listed here. These tasks focused on documentation of all changes made to the environment, the parsing of event trails to log all successful and unsuccessful accesses, and the provision of test environments to validate new technology before use in production. Tasks related to management of the collection are also defined, such as replication of data sets on ingestion. System administration tasks included the verification that the data protection has been effective, shown here. Rules are needed to verify that files have not been corrupted, that approval flags have been set for data, and that no controlled data had public access. A notable set of tasks are related to management of the user passwords, ensuring that they have adequate strength. Multiple failed access attempts require enforcement of a lockout period to prevent computer-based attacks on passwords. There are some unifying requirements across the protected data tasks. These include checking material for the presence of protected information in viruses, managing passwords for all users, generating log files to track specific actions, creating state information to track completion of processing tasks, encrypting data on storage and transmission, managing access controls, generation of audit trails for all actions, parsing of events to demonstrate compliance over time, and verifying that processes were applied correctly. It is interesting to note that these policies are applicable to all types of data management environments, from data sharing to digital libraries to archives. Take seven minutes to answer exercise 32. For your research collaboration, identify the types of protected data that may be present. Note that personal photographs could be protected data, how do digital objects transition from protected data to shared data? Please load a paragraph describing your conclusions into the Lifetime Library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class. The Bibliothèque Nationale de France, BNF, is the National Digital Library of France. The library contains 14 million books. The digital library has 3 million documents. The French National Library uses the IROD's data grid to manage interactions with storage systems. They created three policies to manage ingestion, auditing, and retrieval. These are relatively sophisticated rules that attempt to cover all aspects of each task. We will look at simple versions of the three policies. Additional policies were created to help manage migration of the digital library onto new storage systems. The entire library was moved off of old technology to cheaper storage systems transparently to the user community. The policies included the migration of replicas to new storage systems, which could then be accessed in parallel with the original files. Files that are ingested into the BNF are automatically processed to create replicas 
at alternate storage locations. The rule shown here lists actions that are performed to decide where to create the replicas. The rule uses input parameters to identify where the file is located on a staging area, where the original copy will be placed, and a checksum for the file. A copy is made at the specified location. The rule then checks an attribute on each storage resource to find a list of additional locations where replicas should be placed. A loop is made over the list to store an additional copy at each location. These operations are queued for execution after a delay of one minute. The audit rule checks the integrity of the data collection. The rule verifies the checksum of each file, updates replicas to the most recent version, and retrieves a copy to a staging area. Information is written to standard out about each file. The rule is shown here. The AIP retrieval rule finds the location of all replicas for a file, verifies the checksums, replaces files that have bad checksums, and retrieves a good copy of the data file. The rule is shown here. Many of the basic operations applied by the BNF were encapsulated in policy functions. This simplified the construction of the rules, allowed easy reuse of the same operations in multiple rules, and improved software maintenance. If a problem was found in a policy function, the error could be corrected in one location without having to modify each rule. The policy functions were loaded into the rule base to make them available for use by any rule that was executed on the digital library. Thus, a new rule could be implemented that built upon the same policy functions. The policy functions included data storage, metadata retrieval, path name retrieval, data location retrieval, checksums, and replica update.